Hello, my fellow spuds, and welcome back to another episode of The Long Dark. Sorry, there's a, there's a blizzard just as soon as I start, which is great. Um, so since last episode, not much has happened. The only thing really is that I have made some rabbit skin mittens, uh, which are significantly better than the ones we did have, which is just great, really. My plan for today is that we are going to go back from Timberwolf Mountain with uh, most of our spoils back to Pleasant Valley. And uh, yeah, we're going to... I think make our way to Mystery Lake because we haven't been there yet and I would like to. We need to lose about uh, at least six kilos, which is fine. But I think before any of that, I desperately, desperately need to get something to drink. We could make a travoir. That wouldn't be a bad thing to do. I mean, they're not the most useful thing in the world. They're useful if we want to trek across like Pleasant Valley. Nor if we want to get from Timberwolf Mountain back to Pleasant Valley because we can't use it on slopes or going down a mountain on a rope. But if you're going across a region, for example, maybe hunt a bear or something, we could take this and then we could load it all up. Like we, if we got this for the moose, that would have been great. How heavy is it? One. You're not going to make it. I'm sure it will come in useful eventually. Uh, I will just check at how heavy the maple is though before I uh, use it up. 1.5. Oh, is it, it will be exactly the same weight. Okay, maybe not then. Okay, let's make a handful of arrow shafts. I guess 12. There we go. Right, we are desperately low on water. So I'm going to have to brave this blizzard just to grab a couple of sticks. Right, how many sticks am I going to need realistically? Eight minutes? Ten minutes per stick? I'm going to need quite a lot of sticks then. Oh, I think this, I think the blizzard's literally just ended. It still looks like a blizzard, but I think it's, it's just ended. Right, I guess that'll do... We only need enough water to get us through the night and then we're done. So, I know, Astrid, I know. Apparently those sticks are just enough to get us over the edge. Right, just harvest these ones we'll go back in. Okay. Here we go. It seems such a shame to leave all this stuff behind, all the meat and everything, but we've got to do what we got to do. We will probably live a fairly nomadic lifestyle, I'm guessing, anyway, and having all this food and supplies here does mean that if we want to, we can just come back here and spend a few days here, explore a little bit more, go to some of the other maps, Okay, that's good enough for me. Uh, let's cook some water up. One litre should do. Uh, let's get the can out quickly, because I did leave it behind. We need it for the water. There we go. At least Astro can have a drink. Just enough time to do one more lot. Nice. Oh, lovely. I know, Astro. I know. Calm down. That's fine. Let's go to sleep. Right then, risk of internal power size is healed. Lovely stoof. And uh, we're good. So how much water did we actually get in the end? It wasn't a huge amount, was it? It was enough to get us by. Uh, let's make three arrows. There we go. Lovely. And that helped level up our archer, which is very nice. Uh, we're nearly cooking level four. Amazing. And what is our weight? Our weight is fine, actually. I would like to take these deer hides back. And the rabbit hide, really. I'd like to take all of this. <laughs> how does that look in terms of our weight? We are too heavy. Well, I suppose I could always use a pair of crampons here. I mean, how heavy are they? Half a kilo. Yeah, I guess. I mean, I don't need to take them with me, do we? So let's have a quick look at what we've got in here. Crampon flares, whetstones. Let's make a note. So, note. Oh, you spell mountaineer? It looks wrong. Really wrong. <laughs> there we go. Slightly uncomfortable. That's fine. We'll drop some bits outside. Uh, drop. Drop. I'll do. Right, back to Pleasant Valley we go then. Well, that was a pretty fun little adventure. We got a massive upgrade since we left Pleasant Valley. We've got everything we need really to do whatever we want. I mean, what is our 28th warmth bonus? That's probably the best we're gonna get. If we got the bear skin coat, a little bit better, but I don't think we can get much higher than that. So I think in terms of equipment, we're pretty good now. We're gonna have to do the sneaky sneaky way of getting down because we are encumbered. And then we're going to have to make the slow trek back to the farmstead. Like I said before, I'm not sure if I really want to base myself at the farmstead permanently, but it is quite a nice rest stop before we go to our next location, which will be Mystery Lake. Because we haven't explored Mystery Lake like at all. So kind of want to go there, explore as much as I can, uh, try and get the next unique rifle, because we haven't got that yet, and go from there. Mystery Lake's normally a starter location, and we haven't been there at all. And what day are we on now? 
Uh, day 31. So we could easily spend a good few days in Mystery Lake uh, getting everything we need. And that will lead us to a vast array of locations which we could explore. So that'll be quite cool. Um, after that, we will see. But I would like to spend a few days in Mystery Lake fully exploring the place, seeing what we can find before we see on to Milton. And then, I don't know, we could go to Hush River Valley to explore. I'm not quite sure if there's a reason why we would do that, apart from just for the fun of it. Um, although I, <laughs> I'm not very good with the region. And um, yeah, on my stream, it was one of the first lives we had and I just died in, well, pretty much instantly. Uh, but it would be nice to explore the region with decent gear and try and like survive off the land for a little bit. It might be quite good. So yeah, we could do that little trip, uh, which would be Mystery Lake Milton through Tash River Valley. Uh, but we could also go the opposite way. We could go from Mystery Lake, we could go to Ravine, then Coastal Highway, Desolation Point, explore all that. So we've got a lot of options, a lot of options, because we haven't explored a huge amount of the map yet. I'm thinking more going Mystery Lake first and then seeing what to do from there. I would like to go and explore the new areas. So I have never been to the Contamination Zone. I mean, to, to be honest, I haven't even been to like Black Rock Prison. And I was tempted to try that this episode because there is a cut through from Timberwolf Mountain. But the amount of stuff we've got and Timbles are terrifying and I do not like them. <laughs> and there's no real reason for us to go to the prison yet. Uh, really, it's for crafting... Uh, ammunition and things. I mean, we do have a chance of finding a noisemaker and a ballistic vest, which would be um, incredible, but is not strictly needed right now. I'd rather go there when we actually need more ammo. Right now, we don't actually have a huge amount of ammo used up, do we? Let's quickly check. I don't think we do. Yeah, we've got three. I think we've got more back at Pleasant Valley, but really, I think we're fine for now. It's still quite windy. I think let's just go down this hill. Uh, we'll go into the prepper's bunker. And then I don't know if I left anything there. I think I might have done, but I don't think anything particularly important. And then we can push back towards the farmstead then. The wind is picking up, so it might turn into another blizzard. I kind of want to get down this hill as quickly as possible. And as you've noticed, probably um, we are encumbered. So there's no way we can climb this rope. However, there is a way we can harness our inner goat and traverse the cliff kind of like a, someone described it as like uh, sky rimming it where it's like you just like kind of hop down the, the hill but i think that's what we're going to do because we can get down this without having to use the rope if we are sneaky sneaky so uh if i remember correctly i think it's down here yeah we have to be really careful because this is like near sheer cliff Um, I think we're all right. I think we're all right. Right. And I think we have to go along to this bit. You have to just hug it constantly and then you're kind of fine. Um, right. Let's just go down a little bit more. Uh, is it this way? Looks like it will be this way. Oh, uh, okay. We got a we got a sprained wrist. That's fine. Okay, lovely. Anyway, get in the proper bunker. Thank you. Um, hacksaw flare. That. Uh, don't think it's strictly need anything from there. A fuse. No. Oh, we didn't search these filing cabinets. I doubt we're going to find much in them, but still. Always worth having a little peek. No. Okay, yeah, nothing really here for us. Let's have some low-condition maple syrup. Good. A little bit of water. Anyway, it's uh, fairly late, and I'm hoping the wind's not going to be too bad. That's fine. Let's just get out of here. It's a blizzard. Let's just go back in the abandoned prepper's bunker and uh, <laughs> we'll sleep there for the night. I don't really want to be out in a blizzard, to be honest. I would like to craft that eventually. Um, maybe I should just craft it. 
we might just get it done in time. Okay, got it done. Okay, oh, it's very dark. Uh, where is our bed then? Should just be down here. I get bed. Cool. Well, let's have some more to drink. We'll have something to eat, actually, before anything else. Let's eat some of this low-grade MRE. Have a little bit to drink. Cool. Let's go to sleep. There we go. Cool. Uh, drink a drink. This is going to be nowhere near enough, is it? About halfway. <laughs> Wonderful. Let's do that for a little bit of thirst back. And that finishes that off. Lovely. Let's get out of here. Okay, early morning. Not too bad. Um, I would take that, but I can't justify it. We're already quite encumbered. Let's just make our way back to the river. And we'll follow that back to base. Ah, what a lovely morning. Early morning mist. Covering up the, <laughs> the wolves and the bears out there. We do need to hunt some bears. It would be nice to maybe get a bear skin bedroll. Because they are so, so useful, especially in cold weather. And if we're going to go to places further afield where we might have to camp rough, that would probably be a good thing to have. And there are the cars up ahead. Pretty sure we checked these cars out on the way up. Oh, maybe not. Maybe we didn't check it out. I thought we did. No, we clearly didn't. Oh, no, because we went the other way, didn't we? Of course we did. Okay, so we might find some loot here. Ooh, maybe a note about memento or something, I don't know. Have a look at the loot. Open up the hood. New chocolate bar. Always happen with new chocolate bars. It looks like there's a soda below me. But, scored message with a memento hint. Where is it? Oh. Pleasant Valley Church. Oh, we might have to go there then. Okay, check the boot. Honestly, didn't know that was a catch there, so that's quite cool. Grab the feathers, and let us head off. I wonder if it's worth going straight for that catch then, and then make our way back to base. It probably is. It shouldn't be that hard to get there. Right at the beginning of the first episode, there was a bear across the bridge next to the little village, wasn't there? Might be worth if we're going to hunt a bear to go for that one, because it will be fairly close to the community hall where we based before briefly. And they have huge, they have a huge stove as well, similar to the farmstead where we're based. So it would make quick work of bear meat. Don't know. Just a possibility. We need to hunt too, so I doubt we're doing that in this episode, though. But we can see. Have we still got our sprained wrist? No, we're fine. I slept it off. I completely forgot about that. <laughs> right, here we go. Right, we're at the bottom of the hill. Over it is here. Good. Excellent stuff. Cool, so we've got a uh, little hut, whatever it's called, that we went to before over there. Uh, the bridge over there just goes to forest, really. There isn't much else there. That's the way we came down. Yeah, bear kind of wanders around this general area. We're going to try and keep clear of there for now. Mainly just because if there is a bear there, there's nowhere for us to really cook it. We'll just have to take the hide and leave. Which I would rather not do. I'd rather cook the whole thing if I can. Um, and I'm not really in a position to set up camp. But it's so encumbered. Put that way. Grab these. And... Bashan. So we're at the birch forest here. I think it's a separate bear to the one up there. Uh, can also wander around here. So again, we're going to have to be a little bit careful. Uh, I'll leave those cattails for another time. Because we do need to explore the birch forest at some point. But I don't think now's the right time. And I'm hoping this time round it's going to be a fairly pleasant walk. Usually it is a fairly pleasant walk, but last time we had the wolves up here, didn't we? It was only two. 
but I'm hoping they won't be there this time. We'll go grab whatever's in that catch in the church. We'll head back to the farmstead. Uh, did I leave any cattails here on the right hand side? I think that's one over there. Yeah. Cool. Well, let's harvest these ones. Cattails are like the bread and butter of this. Oh, look, there's my old torch. Because 150 calories a piece in this, it's just so nice. And they're not that heavy. I mean, we've got th 23 of them. It weighs one kilo. It's like 3,000 odd calories just on that, which is amazing. <laughs> so they are very, very, very useful to have in a pinch. It's probably always nice to have a day's worth on you. And they're plentiful. The only thing is, once you've harvested them, they never come back. So, well, unless the game updates. In which case, they can. I think I haven't known that happen for a while. I don't know if they fixed that. But when the game updates, there was a known thing that all the crops would regrow. If there's lots and lots of loot, we could use the travoir to haul all our stuff back. Might not necessarily be a bad shout. Are there any cattails there? You, I can't tell. Yeah. Got all this burdock as well. Very nice. We can use this to make some teas, and I think we can also just eat it as is. And it keeps for ages, so another good food source. There's four of them by the look of it. Oh no, five. There's loads. Okay, well this will keep us going for a little while. And I can hear the wolves. And the fog is rolling in. Wonderful. <laughs> oh, this is the worst time for this to happen. If I was a little bit further along, we would be fine. We'd probably be at the village, but I'm just that little bit too far away. Keep following the river. Eventually, when we follow the river, we'll, we will eventually get to the village. So it's not that big a problem, even if there is fog. It's just that if there happens to be a wolf somewhere, yeah, we won't see it until uh, it's right in front of our nose. Hopefully, the village is just there. Yeah, there we go. But the church should be there. Good. Well, we should be safe now. Well, it's been a while since we've been here, hasn't it? All that time ago. Right, so apparently... There's a... There's a catch in here? Um, how am I meant to find that, then? I checked in here and I didn't find anything. Does it, like, appear? Oh, hang on, what was that? Loose boards. Ooh. Emergency stim, emergency stim, emergency stim, painkillers. Was that it then? I'm presuming that was it. Emergency stim is pretty damn good, so cannot complain too much. Cool, alright. Uh, can we check the actual note itself? Yeah, she's been hi hoarding those stims and hiding them piano. Yeah, okay, cool. Well, we got them, so that's the important thing. Let us head back to the community hall, rest up, cook some food, and some water. And then we'll set off. We are pretty encumbered, so I might end up using the Travois. Just to try it out, really. You don't really get that many opportunities to use it. Check the trunk. Ooh, speaking of which, thank you for the water. Yeah, we've already searched these cars. It was just the boots, really. There we go. Well, that has sorted that problem out. Pretty sure I hauled everything that was worthwhile back with me, but I could be mistaken. Well, we have quite a lot of food out here, so I don't think we uh, took everything, did we? Well, clearly not. Go back in. Right, here we go. Uh, yeah, we've still got quite a lot of stuff here. Uh, I would like to take the skillet. Oh, look, loads more ammo. Uh, cured deer hide, that'd be nice. Yeah, we're going to have to use the travel. That's fine. Don't mind that. Yeah, that's right. Did we leave anything in here? Oh, we did. Look at all this. All this ammo is very nice. Well, we haven't knocked this down. We might as well do that. We can see the cupboard behind us if there's anything in that. No. Oh, always worth a look. So I think we'll set up the travel and we'll just go along the road. I'm presuming we can use it on the road itself. I'm hoping so, anyway. Uh, deploy. Ah, brilliant. Let's grab all this stuff. And... 
Let's open it out. Um, everything that's heavy. Um, and, oh, these pinnacle peaches are ruined. No. Oh, hang on. Did that make them disappear? Oh, I made them disappear. No. Ah, uh, balls. I will keep the gun on us just in case we need it for whatever reason. I think that's pretty good. Let's go. Oh, this is speedy. Look at this. Can we do it on the road? Oh, we can. Good. Okay, I was worried about that. Cool. So we might have to stop, which does take some time. Uh, so you have to... Uh, yeah, drop like that. So just take a little bit of time. That's not too bad. We can carry a lot of weight in this, and we're not going too slowly. So it is useful to have, and we can just pick it up when it's empty and carry it. Uh, so really, if you're a little bit encumbered and you're going doing something like this, it's really, really worth doing. If you are going somewhere a little bit more trekky and you have to go up and down big slopes, it's really difficult. You'd have to make multiple trips uh, back and forth to where you need to go, or trek up the hill with half your loot, dump it, go back down, pick up the travel with the rest of the loot, do the same thing. So it does make it a little bit of a hindrance, but for stuff like this where it's flat, it's amazing. You actually are going pretty quick doing this, because I'm not running. Yeah, you can't run with this. And you, you can crouch, but you can't walk and crouch. Fine. We're just going to have to listen out for wolves. If there's wolves, it's going to take a little while for us to react. And this thing is quite loud. <laughs> so all I can really hear is the noise of the snow behind me. But I think we're making quite good timing. We're basically already at a Contemplation Bridge. Well, it's all good, really. About halfway. Yeah, also, you're, uh, you can't turn round. Like, that's as far as I can see to my left and my and my left and my right. So, um, turning is a bit of a pain. You kind of have to hope and pray that you uh, can actually hear what's behind you. Uh, yeah, turn, please. Turning is hard. There we go. So it's not the most useful thing in the world, but for certain situations, like if you're going hunting nearby and you want to lug, like, however much it is, like 50, is like 70 odd kilos of weight I think you can have in this. It's really, really useful. Like if you wanted to go hunt the bear in Pleasant Valley, um, that's a lot easier. Or we want to go hunt wolves over there, easily doable. Then we can just take it back along the road, haul everything. All right, I need to be a little bit wary because wolves can spawn in the forest on the left. And they can be on my right, but I think they're more likely to be on my left. But like I said, we're making good timing, so we should be all right. It's a shame because we could have taken a shortcut like I normally do across the fields there. But with this, I don't even know if we can go across the river in this. We might be able to. Uh, what's the condition? I'm worried that the road is ruining the condition of it. Uh, let's drop it. Let's have a look. No, oh god, yeah, I think the road's ruining the condition of it. Let's try going on the snow. Hopefully it won't ruin it as quickly. That's my bad, I didn't know it ruined that quickly on the road. Let's try going across here. Because at least we won't wreck it going across the bridge. Uh, and we can see whether it goes on ice. I reckon it does. There's just like certain terrain it won't go on at all. But I reckon if it goes on road, it should go on ice. Oh, those cattails that I need to remember to get them in a bit. Can go on the ice. That's good. Right now, here comes the real test. Because basically, if we get at all, um, if we get a spray notification, it will just stop working and say it's too steep. I think we're all right. Right. Sorry about that. Everyone wants to stop for uh, to say Happy New Year. 
Um, Happy New Year to all of you, by the way, if you are watching this, although you're probably watching this way after New Year. So, anyway, we are back, finally. And honestly, I was surprised the Trevor was able to do all of that, so I will probably be using them more often. I assumed they wouldn't be able to go on road because they weren't able to go on a couple of surfaces I tried before. Um, they can't go through caves, for example. So I assumed they wouldn't be able to go on road, but that wasn't too bad. 89% though, oh god, so you can't use it very often. Uh, move all to inventory, very nice. Uh, pick it up. Good. Oh, we're in. We are here. Uh, shut that door. Good. Let's dump all the food that I don't think we're going to need. Drink the rest of that. We've got a couple of sodas to tie us over until we get to Mystery Lake, so that's pretty nice. That's enough, because we've got tons of calories there. We don't really need many more than that. Cool. Um, and we've got all of this to deal with as well. <laughs> uh, we've got so much stuff. This is very nice. Very, very nice. And these are cured now. Excellent. Let's put all the cured deer hide and all the uh, hides and stuff in here, because that seems like a good idea. Put all the crow feathers away. I'll put them. I'll keep them on us. And uh, we still need two more of them. We can fix up our bedroll. Uh, actually, I'm tempted to keep them on me just for when we do find that next one. And that'll do. Right. In we go. Cool beans. So... Uh, oh, I didn't realize we had two of those books. That's amazing. Uh, dress, I might take that one. I'll take two, actually, because we're probably going to be a little while. Uh, I'll drop both of them. There we go. Uh, we're going to need to rip up a lot of this clothing, because we don't need half of it. Uh, but do we have any spare clothing? No, I think we left it all back at Timberwolf Mountain. That's fine. All right. Uh, wood match is 60. Yeah, we don't need all them. Don't need any of the marine flares. Transfer 15 across. I don't think we're going to need that, but it's probably worth having. Rifle ammunition, I doubt we're going to need that much. Transfer the 17 across. We're not going to need that. Not going to need that. The skillet I'm going to drop. Not going to need the heavy hammer right now. Do we need crampons? I will take them because I think we might be going exploring after Mystery Lake, so if we, especially if we go to Milton, they will be needed. Uh, I think, apart from that, we do have some arrow shots, so we could actually uh, make some more arrows up. I might just do that quickly. Ooh! We did have some. Oh, so we can just make it straight away. Oh, that's amazing. Right, I didn't even know we had some here, so that's that's great. Improvised bear, uh, just three cloth, and we can do it straight away. Ooh, that's nice. Okay. Well, that's a much better bedroll, I think. I've never actually used one of these, so this will be cool. Awesome. So we should be able to do that straight away. Yeah. Okay. Might run out of light. There we are. Uh, we should probably should have compared before, uh, before and after the sleep. Just to see what it is actually like. Eight bed warmth. Oh, that's a mass. I think it's three normally. That's insanely better. Eat that. We'll eat a couple of these. And then we are going to uh, go to sleep. Or we head off to Mystery Lake in the morning. Right. Just before dawn. Uh, let's drink the rest of that one. Thirst back a little bit. Uh, we will rest up for one hour, and then we should go make use of the early morning light to go and uh, craft these arrows. It should be light enough to technically craft, although we can't see a thing. Uh, here we go. There we go. We can craft three. That's all right. Right, very nice. Cool. And the rest of the arrow shafts can just go on the floor, I guess. Yeah, we need to go dump our medical supplies in our medical cabinet and then I think we will set off. I haven't searched this yet for potatoes. Carrots. I should just take all of it. We'll leave it upstairs outside before we go. I didn't actually check to see if we boiled any water preemptively. I think we might have some. 
I didn't look too closely. It'd be nice to be able to take a little bit with us. No, I actually don't. Oh, I normally take, normally leave a little bit, but apparently I've uh, exhausted my supply right now. In that case, let's boil some water up. Let's use a book. I got 100% chance. Right, so the plan is we're going to cook some water up, and then we are going to head off. So that's a nice little fire going. Let's add them. Plenty. Cut the water. I'll take about two hours. That should be enough for a little bit extra after that. Good. Okay, let's go dump our medical supplies in the medical cabinet. Go dump the other bits outside. I don't know whether the Go Energy is uh, technically a food item that deteriorates, or whether it's just... I, I'm presuming so. So I'll leave one here. Food-wise, dump them there. Uh, how long? 35 minutes. Uh, might not have time. Cook that bit up. Uh, we might as well use an hour anyway. Because the fire's going to go out. Water will be done by then. There we go, lovely. And we still have a... Yeah, one of them on us. Good. We might as well just take all the water we've got. I mean, we are still five kilos under capacity. So that's fine. I'd rather have it on us than not have it at all. Let's have a quick drink. We probably could lose some more stuff. Yeah, I'll just leave the burdock root. I think we'll be good at that point. I am going heavy, but I don't know how long we're going to be. So I'd rather be safe. We'll probably dump some stuff in Mystery Lake as it is as well. So I think that's fine. The wind is right in front. Is this going to be a pain to walk? Yes, yes it is. <laughs> It's fine. As soon as we make our way to the mountain, we should be a bit more protected. So, the plan is we are going to head to Mystery Lake uh, through the cave system that's just up here that I think I pointed to in a previous episode. <clears throat> we'll end up in Winding River Valley. Uh, at that point, uh, it's a fairly safe area. Well, there's a cave system, then it's a fairly safe area after that. Uh, there's two wolves, but they're right at the far end. And there's a few rabbits. Uh, there's a couple of uh, There is a cave. And I believe a little campfire location in on the high ground. So, uh, the plan is that we will go through there and we'll end up at the back of the hydroelectric dam. Um, at that point, we can go into the dam, uh, explore that, and then we will uh, venture out to the rest of Mystery Lake. The idea is that we will probably end up making a temporary base either at the uh, camp office or Trapper's Cabin. Leaning more towards Trapper's Cabin because I do like that location as a base. Uh, because there's a grove, uh, the moose can roam around there, the bear can roam around there. Tends to be quite a lot of deer and wolves. Uh, it's got a workbench. It's got a little stove. And it's uh, within spitting distance of the cave to Milton, and that cave does contain coal. So it is a really, really nice little base location. And if you are starting, I highly recommend it as a starting location for a base. It's a little bit far out um, compared to the rest of Mystery Lake, but it does teach you how to uh, kind of survive off the land, really, and uh, how to hunt rabbits and that sort of thing. So it's pretty cool. But let's take a couple of sticks just in case we do get stuck and have to make an emergency fire. There we go. And we will venture up. So that's the way to Black Rock region and the Black Rock uh, prison. Might go there at some point. Not right now, there is no point because its main use really is to get ammo crafted. There is a forge there as well. So we could go there for a forge, but we don't really need a forge. We've got all the tools we need. So maybe later on in the series, once we've exhausted the stupid amount of whetstones we've got and uh, all the tools we've got, maybe 
But right now, I think we're all right. So the cave system where we're going is pretty cool. Um, I think I've traveled there on my stream about five times. So apologies if you've watched that and you've seen me do this so many times. But it's quite a cool cave because there's a lot of nooks and crannies in it. You can find uh, deer corpse in there, you can find human corpses. Campfire can spawn, I think. There's also a load of calms if for some reason you want to find all the calms. And there's some spots with natural light in as well. So if you're doing like an outdoor playthrough or something, it's quite a nice sheltered location that is also technically arguably outside. So, yeah, worth looking at. Let's go over this hill. We need to watch out for a wolf because there can be a wolfie or two just on the left hand side up here. Uh, there can be a bear that roams around there and also down here, although I haven't seen one ever down here, but apparently there can be one. Doesn't look like the wolf's out today, which is very nice. That's just a stump. <laughs> okay, right. We'll go this way. Uh, if there's any mushrooms, we'll grab them, and then we'll head down to the cave, which is just behind this little cave here. Right, we've got the deer carcass. Um, annoyingly, I should have taken a skillet in hindsight, because then we could have made... Uh, some venison pies, which has been very nice. Uh, frozen. Empty, anyway. Because uh, we could have harvested that. <clears throat> Got the venison, made it into some pies now that we're level 3. Uh, we should be able to make venison pies, and that gives us increased carry capacity. Which would be very nice to have right about now. Uh, did we leave anything in here before? A bit of wood. I'll take it. Because we can still run. We're not encumbered, so that's fine. I think I left some reishis here, if I'm not mistaken. So I marked them on the map, presumably because I did not take them. I didn't take them, good. Okay, I'm going to need to mark that off on the map then. Actually, I'll leave it there because there's a couple over there. Well, I'll take these ones. Just because it would be nice to have some uh, extra teas. Good. And the cave system is just there, I think. Look how warm we are, though. It's minus 8, but it feels like 19 degrees. Ah, oh, I love having decent gear in this. Oh, we've got an actual deer. And a live one at that. It's weird, thinking back, I can't remember the last time I hunted a deer. Um, in the long dark. It's one of those things when I first started playing the game, it was my aim was to hunt them. I used quite a lot of ammo hunting them, but now I'm a bit like, I, I don't even really rate them as a, a source of our food right now. In late game, I think, yeah, but right now it's not really needed. I think uh, interloper, it's a lot more needed. Really? Rabbits and wolves are a lot more useful because you just hunt them to get rid of them so they're not aggressive. Whereas deer, they're not aggressive anyway, so there isn't really any point in hunting them. When we get to level 5, we can hunt bear and wolves anyway. So I guess the amount of meat you get from a deer makes it worth it. But it's not one of those things I've, I've actually done for a long time. I might have to do it on my stream next. <laughs> Here we go. And we've got this little bridge. Go across, um, check all the nooks and crannies. Yeah, look, there's coal here as well. If you wanted to get coal, actually, I might as well pick it up. It's worth picking up coal when you are in caves because then it can respawn after a few weeks. And you can just get more. So even if you just pick it up and then put it at the entrance of the cave, it's worth doing. So, uh, the exit's actually over there, but we're going to go in here because there can be a deer carcass over here. And there we go. Another Khan. Another Khan. Some more coal. Cool. And 87% uh, frozen. Try to harvest it. Oh, I should have. Hang on, cancel, cancel. Extinguish that first. Someone said I should do this in one kilo intervals because you get more XP. Not sure how true that is, but I'll try it. We've got Affliction Cabin Fever. Really? 
I didn't know you could get cabin fever in a cave. I suppose it's a transition cave, but still. Okay, right. Try this again. There we go, lovely. So onwards we go. Um, cut the stick. Cool. So we are probably going to have... There's the campfire, nice. So we are probably going to have to cook this meat straight away and probably sleep here. Just because uh, I don't really want to go out with stinky stuff when we go to the hydroelectric dam because I do not want the wolves uh, stiffing me. 85%. That's what I have to do. Cool. So we'll cook up the meat that we've got. Then... Uh, eat what Come we can. On, I think we'll dump the hide and the guts here to cure, and then we will uh, push on in the morning. There we go. Right. Cool, that's fine. Uh, eat that. And we've got a little bit of time left, so we might as well make some water. Eat all that. Excellent. Right, did that actually that use all of the deer? There's 141 calories. Well, that can do for the morning. Drink some of the ludicrous amounts of water we've got on us. Lovely. And let's go to sleep in our lovely feathered bedroll. Can I can I put you down? Thank you. you go. Bed warmth 7.9. It's amazing. Uh, it feels like 35 degrees. <laughs> what a toasty bed. Right. Okay, let's pick that up just about to become daybreak. Let's finish off that so we're not stinky. Finish off that. Good. And uh, that's past the time for an hour just until this... Oh! We've got cabin fever. Oh, I forgot. Ah! Need to spend some time outside. We can't sleep indoors for 24 hours. And uh, that means we can't... Uh, rest or pass the time either that's a pain i'm not gonna lie oh, especially because it's just before daybreak is there anything we can do to pass a little bit of time uh, i think yeah we could prepare some birch bark just want the spokes to go over the horizon i keep calling them spokes i don't know what else to call them uh, the little the points to go over the horizon there we go right that's done now we can read our book just for a little bit we are not, no, we can't do it because we've got cabin fever. Okay, fine. <laughs> fine. You're going to be like that. Let's get out of here. So to get rid of that, we're going to have to sleep outside, which isn't too difficult. Uh, we can make a little snow shelter. We just need like 15 sticks and five cloth. But um, we'll be all right. Here we go. So, uh, ooh, some more sticks. Have a dead guy. Nope. Nothing on you. Is that fur? That is. Do we have the capacity? No, not really. Okay. Um, I would do, but there's a chance that we can find one of the specialized rifles outside of the hydroelectric dam. It's one of the spawn locations for it. And it weighs quite a lot, so I feel like I don't want to pick up anything particularly heavy, just in case. Right. Is that a storm starting as soon as I leave the cave? That's not annoying at all. Yeah, that's a blizzard. Okay, I think we're going to have to go camp in the cave then. It's fine. Be sheltered from the wall just for the time being. And the cave isn't actually that far once we get out of this little um, little creek, winding river. I think what I meant to describe it as. I wouldn't call this a river, it's too small, but meh. <laughs> Let's keep picking up sticks as we go. How many do we have now? I need 15. Oh, we've got loads. Uh, we could sleep in the cave. I'm presuming that counts as outside. That's fine. We will be all right. Here we go. Right then. 
Oh, we're going to the wind. That's annoying. Are you up and over here? No, I don't think so. Grab these, though. Now, like I said, there are a couple of wolves, but they are at the far end. So I'm hoping we won't even see them. But we will have to uh, keep a lookout just in case. So the cave we want to go into is there. Um, I think we can actually go up and over. Yeah, nice. And this is one of the locations we can get the rifle. But I'm hoping we'll be able to actually get it inside and we don't need to worry too much about the walls. Either way, I am happy. Right, we're getting warm, that's good. We've got a campfire, we've got uh, some dog food, some matches, nothing. Uh, it doesn't look like the rifle's here, so I don't mind that too much. Okay, so... 23 hours. That's uh, rest up a few hours just to warm up. Uh, hopefully the weather changes. Sounds a bit calmer out there. And my plan is that we're just going to venture up here. I am going to harvest some of this old man's beard. Because I always forget to do it. And it is worth having. There we go. Oh, really. Cool, so the rabbit grove is about here. You can only find two or three rabbits on the river itself. I don't know if there's any of the birds here. I don't think so. Uh, but up here, we should be able to find a little campsite just on this little ledge here. Uh, and normally there's a corpse. And some water and uh, some food and stuff as well. Oh, there's mushrooms. Oh, there's loads of mushrooms. Oh, nice. Oh, there's a deer. Oh, and an arrow. Very nice, okay. Oh, it's normally a campsite. Oh no, there's a campsite there. Oh, there's loads of stuff here. <laughs> oh, I don't normally come up here, so there's so many mushrooms. It's three maple saplings. I'm going to take them and let them cure, seeing as we wasted all of them on the travoir. At least that makes up for it, basically. There we go. And is that something over here? No. So I think it can be a campfire there instead of the deer carcass. Maybe it's just a random chance of one or the other. We can then venture down. And if we did venture down, come across wolves. There's one there who looks like it might be eating something. And one there who's wandering. Um, but I don't really want to have to interact with the wolves. So we're actually going to go back on ourselves if I can. Unless I've just shot myself in the foot. I think I have. That's annoying. Um, there we go, we're fine. <laughs> uh, because if we go back on ourselves a little bit, we can then venture down and just skirt around them completely, which is what I would prefer to do. Um, I'm not going to touch that yet, because if we harvest all that, we will be very stinky and the walls will just instantly detect us. Not something I really want. We're going to go down here. And the cut through is just there. There's the bunnies. So most of the time I've been around here, um, I never interact with the wolves. Because this, the cut through and the way back is just, it's too good. You can avoid the walls completely doing this. I will take that. I will take a couple of tinder, actually, because that would be useful to have. There we go. So you just go up here. And sometimes um, over there, you can find, uh, it's, around, it's around here anyway, you can find a corpse, a deer corpse. So that's always quite handy to have in case you do get hungry. We've got one up there. There might be another one, although I didn't hear the crows, so I don't. Maybe it hasn't spawned there this time.
but we can go this way round, go across the top of the rocks, and we can avoid the wolves completely. And that's the dam there, in all its splendour. It's, it, I really like the dam, but I do also find it incredibly annoying that you can only get in over there from this side. It's just a really... It feels sometimes um, just annoying on purpose. Like, it feels like if, if you're able to get in one time and then open a way out, like, prop the door open or put a rope down or something, that would be a lot nicer than having to punish us every time. Because if you base in Pleasant Valley, like I tend to... Uh, you have to do this awkward trip every time you want to go into Mystery Lake, and it's just a bit like, ugh. Because the dam is quite nice, but once you've gone through the lower levels uh, a couple of times, it gets very samey and very boring <laughs> trying to get through. Ugh, there we go. And, just like that, we have passed the wolves, and we are at the hydroelectric dam. Did I have any charcoal? We No, doesn't matter. Just going to map it, but it's not really needed. So, here we are. Now, there's a couple of locations outside that we can find uh, the rifle that we're looking for. And it's always worth looking in these pipes, because you can sometimes find uh, some goodies in those pipes, like bags and things. Uh, there's a box around here. Ooh, take them. I'm probably just going to leave them, but uh, it's worth having them as a spare, just in case. Oh, we've got a corpse with a knife. Another spare we can leave behind. Piece of toque. It's always nice having some spare stuff just in the various locations you go. Um, yeah, there's no nothing in there for the time being. Uh, we've got some scrap metal. I might take that, because we could do some fishing while we're here. Uh, that's the way out of the dam. So you come out here, but you can't get back in. It's a one way. To get back in, you have to go this way. Um, which is a little bit... It, I remember the first time I did this and I was absolutely terrified. Um, but it's not too bad as long as you hug the wall. Uh, you should have plenty of room to do this. It does still terrify you a little bit. I mean, you look down there and it's like, oh. <laughs> I mean, in real life, I would hate this. This would be awful. Because um, you imagine how slippery this is slick with snow and it's just oh god anyway here uh, we can find lots of stuff outside there's a bit of cloth there which I'm going to take we need five cloth if we want to sleep outside which we're probably going to have to um, we should have yeah there we go deer carcass which I'm going to harvest in a second and over here it can be bum 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 Thorn's rifle a Weather 303 rifle covered in epoxy and duct tape. Its patchwork exterior hides an improved firing action, a handy tool when working the various industrial sites and power stations at Dot Great Bear Island. Fragile and deadly, just like its owner. So this has a marginally faster shooting and reloading time compared to uh, the standard rifle. However, it does decrease in condition a lot more each time you fire it. So you do have to be a little bit careful with it. But it can save you in a pinch, especially if you need to like, hunt a bear or something and you need to fire multiple shots off. It can be the difference between life and death. So it is, um, it's very useful in that sense. Is there anything else? There can sometimes be a few other little bits. Uh, we've got a piece of cloth there. Doesn't look like it. Okay, let's harvest this deer and let's get inside. The, the wolves can't get us up here, so we can just take our time harvesting this. There we go, lovely. And let's go inside. I mean, if we're lucky, I don't think we can find flour and oil in this place. Oh, we've got another stay on target. Nice. Uh, but if we can, we could make some uh, some pies. That'd be lovely. Right, here we go. Where do we get in? There we go. So, into the hydroelectric dam we go. So, there is a cooking pot. And uh, a lockbox, but we need a memento key, which we do not have. Need to remember it's there. Although I haven't found that memento note yet, or the key, so I'm not quite sure where that spawns in. I'll have to keep an eye for that. 
Ooh, there's some stale crackers under the... Oh, I'm presuming they're stale crackers. They are stale. Stale salty crackers. Right, search in here. New pork and beans. Very nice. It's going to take as much as we can carry. Uh, we can't carry much more, but... Uh, might as well do loot as much as we can from this section before we move on. What I normally do is search all these, then dump everything in the main part of the hydroelectric dam. That's normally where I set up camp. Uh, ooh. Yeah, very nice. We are struggling to walk a bit. So in kits, amazing. Keep going down. Luckily, we don't have that far to go to before we get to the main hall. We just need to go through this little awkward thing here. Is there anything around here? Ooh. Looks like this has been here a while. I'm glad I checked. Another revolver. Well, good start already. We're encumbered, but we're fine. We just need to get through here. Uh, it's not very far. Go up some stairs, and we will be in the main hall of the hydroelectric dam. There also should be a corpse on the stairs that can have arrows around him and in the door ahead of him, which is quite cool. Uh, so we're going to have to check that out. Let's keep checking. Flashlight. Uh, oh, rifle cartridge. I've got a workbench here, but I never bother using this workbench. I don't know why, because it is a fairly useful location. I just never use it. That's more cloth. Tomatics. Oh, yeah, we're struggling a bit. Come on, Astrid. Not very far now. <laughs> well, we've got enough stuff now that we can properly set up a little base here. Uh, so we can come back as and when necessary, and we've got spares of pretty much everything, I think, now. And we've got enough food to tide us over if we need to. Which is always handy to do um, if you go to various locations. Just have a base in each region, or even two. Um, I tend to have two. I tend to have one here as like a transition zone. Uh, so that if we need supplies before we go to Ravine, or we go to Coastal Highway, or we go to and fro Mystery Lake, um, we've got stuff that we can just pick up and drop. Uh, I tend to also have one then at Trapper's Cabin or the Camp Office. Uh, just because then that's that will be like my regional base. This is kind of just like a stop off point for me. Ooh, another knife. Oh, we're going so slow. Um, might have to leave this area and explore this bit another time. <laughs> just because we're so encumbered now. Um. Yeah, I'll leave what's in here. I'll take them and I'll search this. But I think the rest I'm going to have to leave. Because that's the way we have to go back to Coastal Highway anyway. The exit door was just there. So we can explore them the way, that on the way back. I'm sorry, I'll come back for you stuff later. Coffee? I can't see. Coffee? Nah. Okay. Right, here is uh, the dude. It's on the stairs. We've got a broken arrow. Got another storm lantern, which I'm going to leave. And normally, there's an arrow or two in the door up here. Okay, there's one. Shame, I was hoping there'd be more than that. Oh, well, we got two arrows. Well, two broken arrows, I should say. But that's not too bad. Okay, so we're in the main hall, the upper dam. Uh, it's a bit of a mess, but if we continue over here, uh, there is a little camp stove. That tends to be where I dump all my stuff. Uh, you have to be careful in this main little bit because when there's auroras, the electricity cables are on the floor start sparking and if you walk on them, they can really hurt you. So you do need to be a bit careful. But near the campfire, as long as you stay really close to it, you won't get electrocuted. There's no cables that run around that, so you're fine. Uh, there's quite a lot in this little room normally. Uh, you can find the rifle that I found up there as well. Uh, there's also a fair amount of loot around the top here. And... You should be able to find a fair amount of stuff. Uh, we could drop a cooking pot. I don't think we need two. We can have a spare one here. That's probably worth doing. I'll drop 
that one. The fresh gut I will drop. The hide I will drop. I've got two knives. I will drop one here. Uh, I'll drop the beans. Oh, there's only more food that we could drop. I think there probably was. What we're going to do is we're going to clean this one a little bit because it's fairly low condition as it is. And I can't remember whether tools and weapons take damage over time if you leave them on the floor. So I would rather uh, clean this up a little bit just so we can check. Right, so 51%. I think that's fine. So where is it? I can drop on the floor. Uh, it's three weight as well, Vaughn's Rifle. So it is a lot lighter, which is quite nice. The flashlight. I don't think we need the flashlight, so we'll drop that. And we do not need this spare revolver. I'll unload it. And we'll drop it. We've got a few other bits to harvest and use and everything. But for the time being, uh, let's start a fire. Come on, little fire. Come on, little fire. <laughs> right, we'll cook up this meat. And then we'll press on. Okay. Wait for this to be done. We can't pass time indoors due to cabin fever. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, right. Let's drop this spare clothing we've got as well. How much cloth did we have? Four cloth, so we do need the fifth. So let's rip that up. Just because we're probably going to have to sleep outside. That use up a bit of time. And then what else can we do? Old man's dressing? How long does that take? Fifteen minutes. Exactly the amount of time. Good. Three minutes till burnt, five minutes till ready, of course. Cook some reishi tea. There we go, eat that. We'll hopefully try and eat both bits of venison. There we go, perfect. That was a good snack. And that's done. Pick that up. Cool. And I think that's everything we wanted to drop. I'll harvest the two broken arrows. And then we're going to have to go look at sleeping outside somewhere. Let's go explore over here. We go up and round. See if we can find anything of use. Uh, before we then go upstairs. Into the rest of the hydroelectric dam. I'm hoping here, I normally can find some jerry cans upstairs. So I'm really hoping we'll be able to find some bits. Accelerant and a soda isn't there. Yeah, it's just up here. At the far end on the left, you can find uh, Vaughn's Rifle as well. It's another one of the locations. I think the fourth location is where we just found the accelerant. Not 100% on that one. Uh, but it's. I think there's two locations in this room where you can find it, if I'm not mistaken. Antibiotics and an energy. Ruined energy bar, so we're not going to use that. New beef jerky. What I want to do before it gets to night is push up from here because we can't really go through this way if there's an aurora we're kind of stuck so i'd rather just get up here now here we go touch all these uh, also if you're struggling for water there are toilets here i think there's two that you can harvest water from so you can get a good three odd liters of water oof this will come in handy that will cool uh, there's a good like three odd liters of water you can get from the toilets here so uh you shouldn't be too hard up for water. Um, quickly search here. There's another workbench here. Lots of workbenches in this place. Herbal tea. Very nice. Looks like another book just to the right there. The desk. Oh dear, shooting. Oh, we should be able to easily level up our uh, shooting skill from all the books we found on shooting. Uh, anything else? Anything else? Another flare. We're still not encumbered, which is nice. And there's a safe. What do we get? Flare. That was it. We got a flare. That was really worth it, wasn't it? Got a lot of simple tools. We've got the upstairs to explore as well. So we've got some lockers there. This is the toilets. We don't need any water right now, so I'm going to leave it as is. Uh, I'll take that, actually, yeah. Because we could probably do with some more cloth at some point. Perfect rifle ammunition. Boom. Quickly check these rooms. There's quite a lot around here. Um, can't see anything there. Run up the stairs, run up the stairs. Okay, you can normally find quite a lot of stuff in this room. I think normally... Yeah, there we go. I think it's always there. Perfect rifle ammunition. I found it like the last three times I've been here anyway, so I think it is uh, common, if not guaranteed, in Stalker and Below anyway. 
But seeing as we can't actually sleep indoors anyway, we might as well just uh, exhaust ourselves. Or wait until um, the morning. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Cool. That's two orange sodas. Very nice. We've got another workbench. Of course. Uh, and... I think it's just the last office in here. And then it's back down to the floor below. And, uh, yeah, then we can dump some stuff before we head out. Ooh, very nice. The episode's gone on a lot longer than I was expecting. So, nice. I can leave that for today, and then next episode we will pick up exploring the rest of Mystery Lake. So, is there anything else? No. Crisps. Nice. I've kind of been distracted by time. Apologies if it seems a little bit jumpy. I keep having people come to my door and knocking and um, <laughs> wishing me happy holidays and um, and happy new year. So can't complain people being friendly, but it's uh, it has interrupted the video a few times now. Uh, so I'm sorry if it seems a little bit more disjointed than usual. Uh, what have we got? Old fashioned Parker. Hey. This will come in handy. Um, I'm going to take it. I'm not actually going to wear it. Same with that. Um, but I'm going to dump it in the foyer downstairs. Whoop, whoop, whoop. There we go. Okay. And there's a last little bit to explore, which is over here. And I think, yep, yeah, there is usually a jerry can here. But you know, like nearly full as well. Very nice. And that's the other workbench just on my left up there. Cool. And while we're at a workbench, we got the scrap metal. I might as well make the hooks that I wanted to make. Another Rochi stim. Because I bought the scrap metal so that we could actually make some hooks. Uh, so that we could do some fishing. While we are at Mystery Lake, because it's a really good fishing spot. Ooh, big tin of coffee. I think we should be able to extinguish this. It's going to be really dark, but we should be able to technically work still. Uh, 20 minutes for that, 40 minutes, one hour. Let's do the one hour. We should be able to hopefully just about make that. Good. Okay. Right. And then the foyer is just here. Again, we can't actually sleep yet because we need to be uh, 11 more hours until we can sleep indoors. Water purification. Quite nice. Uh, is there anything? There we go. Let's grab that. No. Uh, let's turn this back on. Luckily, we've got the uh, jerry cans. We can refuel this in a second. So this is the last bit, and then we've pretty much fully explored the hydroelectric dam. Cool. Okay, so, in here, I'll distinguish that first. Don't need this for this. There we go. Right, so, first of all, we need to dump a load of stuff because we've got way too much stuff. And then I'm going to dump the jerry can, because I don't think we're going to need that for a while. And it weighs a ton. Um, I guess that'll do for the time being. There's a lot of food. Let's go outside. And I'm probably going to have to dump that out here. Look okay, at that looks fine. And that'll do for now. Again, most of this will probably be dumped when we get to well, where we want to set up camp, which is probably going to be Trapper's Cabin, uh, if we're planning on going to Milton. But that'll do for now. It's actually quite a nice night. So I'm thinking I might just put the bedroll straight down in uh, this spot here. Sleep for three hours. If the wind picks up. Oh, for God's sake, seriously. No, we're fine. We're fine. <laughs> Thought that was a blizzard. Uh, two hours. Three hours was pushing it. And what I should be doing is crouching. There you go, let's crouch. Uh, at least we're, we're surviving. We're not going down in temperature. I think that's because of how warm we are and how good the bedroll is. Yeah, ten, feels like 10 and then 7.7. .7. Amazing. There is also a car just outside the gate that we could sleep in. I don't think that uh, increases cabin fever at all. Another three hours. Once we'll sleep that, and then I'm going to call it a day. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Lovely. Cabin fever is healed, but we then have the risk still. But that's fine, because uh, we're just about to go on a little journey. Let's just read that until it's daytime. Excellent. So, we're alive. It looks like there's two carcasses down there. 
uh, or a human one and a deer one. I'm presuming it's a deer one over there. It normally is. Cool. So on that note, uh, let's have a look at how long we've survived. We're on day 35 out of the 100 that I'm planning on doing. And we've done pretty well. We've explored 19% of the world. Not as much as I was hoping by this point, but we've still done quite a lot. We did spend a lot of time in Timberwolf. So I, that can't really be helped because we had so much stuff to do there. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like Wisdom, please leave a like and subscribe. And massive thank you to all my Patreon and YouTube members. Clint, David, Len, Valise, Laurie Lord, T Chaos, Toolman, Nacho Cheese, Mikey Soundtrack, King of Thorns, Skylar Burchell, Charles, Mint Salad, Lax, Brian, Mickey, David, Tyler, and Coddry Pierce. Thank you guys, you're just all amazing. Thank you so much for supporting me in the channel. It keeps the channel afloat, so I can't thank you guys enough. You guys are just, just great. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next episode. Bye-bye.